In this twist tutorial, we're going to be folding the Isoaria closed hexagon twist. And if you've been trying to reverse engineer or fold from crease patterns, uh, one of Joel Cooper's patterns, this is probably the bane of your existence. So this twist is the same on both sides of the paper and you can puff it up into this little rosette little swirly that makes some really gorgeous patterns. So hi, I'm Madonna. Welcome to Gathering Folds. This twist tutorial is part of the Summer of Twist series of 30 twist tutorials, which means that there's an ebook where you can find crease patterns for the twist, for the longer tutorials, like the one that will be linked at the end of this video, and a challenge pattern to test your understanding of what you learned today. You can also sign up for email reminders for all 30 twists in the series on a weekly basis at training.gatheringfolds.com summer. So let's dive in to this Isoaria closed hexagon twist. Like the closed hexagon twist, there are no additional creases added to the grid. And if you're not familiar with the squashing process, it can be quite confusing. So when we're looking at this Isoaria closed hexagon, it's using the exact same creases as the closed hexagon twist, but some of the pleats, every other pleat specifically, has flipped mountain valley orientation. So we're going to start by drawing on our crease pattern. I'm going to start by drawing every other mountain around this hexagon of mountain folds. And by the way, I'm using an eight fold triangle grid on a square and using my existing twist as a template, I'm going to extend one side and add a leg. So I'm doing this rotationally symmetrically all the way around, extend one side, add a leg, extend, add a leg. And we're going to be drawing identical folds for the valleys. So valley straight out and add a leg valley straight out and add a leg. So each of the sides of my central hexagon has a mountain at one end and, the, and a valley at the other, but it's alternating valley, mountain, mountain, valley, valley, mountain, mountain, valley, valley, mountain, mountain, valley. And then in order to fold this twist, because seeing the crease pattern is only halfway to getting there, we're going to start emphasizing the mountains and valleys of the pleats, making sure that the central point of the grid is down. So this is key. We want to keep the center down, which is different than how we fold all of the other twists. Like all of the normal twists, the center is up. In this one, the center is down because what we're going to do is we're going to have these pleats set up and we're going to bring these in with the center down and then we're going to kind of pull this into a cone and let the center then expand out again. So there's these three points where kind of the tributaries of the mountains are coming together. And so you bring them in and then up and then out. All on grid lines and we'll need to tuck them in in order to get flat again. So that's what's going on with the Isoaria closed hexagon twist. And here I'm using my bone folder 
just to help things lay a little bit flatter and resolve any tension in the grid. And at this point, we can lift out those corners and make this puffy again. So we've got the same pattern on the opposite side. And on this side, you'll see that the center is kind of pointing up um, because that's how we had arranged it before. But we could also have that center down just like with the iso area closed square. These are equivalent things just seen from opposite sides of the paper. And if we want to draw our crease pattern here, I can spot where these folds are going to be from how the paper is laying. And then I can use symmetries that we have like every other set of folds um, doing the same thing to get the rest of the pattern. Oop, that should be dashed blue line there. And there we have it. The iso area closed hexagon twist can be folded from either side of the paper in exactly the same way. And it doesn't have to be a huge headache. Instead, it can be a source of a lot of fun. Now, it's one thing to fold a single twist and another thing to fold multiple in the context of a repeating pattern. So definitely check out the longer tutorial um, for folding this in context. And also, um, you can find more patterns with this twist inside of Advanced Twist Techniques and the Summer of Twists ebook if you'd like to um, have more practice folding these iso area closed hexagon twists. So happy folding, and I'll see you in the next video.